Hello, my friends. May God bless all of you. And may the Holy Spirit, who is the guide of those who are born of the Holy Spirit, may He guide our thoughts and direct our lives according to His will. And today, I would like to speak about the meaning or what it means or rather what happens when a person is born of God and those who are not born of God because whoever is born of God is very different from those who are not born of God. So those who are born of God are children of God. Those who are not born of God, they continue to be children of the devil. It's what is written in the Word of God. This is not my idea, it's not my personal doctrine or from the universal church. It's the Word of God. Pay close attention. The holy text says like this, there in the Gospel of John, says like this, that Jesus came to his own, to his own, but his own did not receive him. So they rejected him, the Jews, Jesus came for the Jews, but the Jews did not accept him as their king and Messiah. They did not accept him. So, it continues to say, the text says, But as many as received Him, so all those who received Jesus and welcomed Him, but not welcomed Him with an Amen, oh nice, you can come, I believe in you. No, it's not just that. It's to adhere or to accept the thoughts of the Lord Jesus Christ, His ideas, His commandments, His word, His direction. For example, those who accept the Lord Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, they obey His word. Just for you to have an idea, just a quick example, He commands us to forgive to forgive our enemies. So whoever follows Jesus will forgive. Those who do not follow Him, those who believe in Him will forgive. Those who don't believe will not obey and will follow the instinct of their own hearts. So whoever receives Jesus, whoever receives Jesus in this way, meaning they practice His Word, they obey His Word. They don't practice lies, they don't practice deceit, they don't practice robbery, they don't live lives that are worldly, a life that you know is wrong. Whoever follows Jesus, they have a, a standard, an ethical standard. Whoever follows the Lord Jesus, whoever is born of Jesus, they follow a biblical pattern of order, true order and discipline. And the person then has a character according to the word of the Lord Jesus Christ. And that's why it says, Jesus came to his own, but his own did not receive him. But as many as received Him, so those who accepted the Lord Jesus and he started to walk according to His Word, then to those He gave the right to become children of God. Look how nice. To be a child of God is to have power. Those who are children of God have power. They have power to overcome all evil. They have power to overcome the world. It's written here. 
For whatever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. So, for example, a person who commits suicide, did they overcome the world? No, they didn't. Because when they faced problems and depression before that situation, they, they want to run away from the world. So, they just end their life and that's when their soul is truly surrendered to evil forever. So, whoever is born of God overcomes the world. They overcome depression, they overcome doubts, they overcome the hardships of life, the tribulations, they overcome everything. For example, we had recently the results of the elections in Brazil, and Lula won, and whoever voted for Bolsonaro was left down sad, prostrated, many surrendered to a spirit of defeat that is not even theirs. It's not their defeat. This defeat was for the president, Bolsonaro. He was defeated. It wasn't me. He was defeated. I continued the same way. My life won't change in any level. Why? Because faith, the faith of those who are born of God, keeps them strong. And whoever is born of God is not carried away by what the world shows them, whether it's Lula or whoever is the person, Bolsonaro, or, or whoever is the candidate they want. It does not matter. My life, if I am born of God, if you are born of God, my dear friend, then you won't surrender to your failures, to disappointments, to frustrations. You do not surrender to them. Why? Because you are of God. You are spirit. You live by faith. And whoever lives by faith lives on God's dependence. And they do not depend on man, the president, the king, the queen, or the boss, or the, the, the employees. No, they don't depend on anybody. They don't depend on anyone at all. When a person is born of God, when they are children of God, God does not lead us to be born of Him in order for us to continue being slave of this world, slave of sin, or even slave of man. No way. Whoever is born of God, whoever is born of God is free. They live on the dependence of their father. Either God is father or he isn't. So if he is father and I am his child, then there is obviously a communion between us and I depend on him. I depend on him. Is it fair that, for example, a person that was brought into this world by their mother and father, then they depend on their parents until a certain age. But there is a time that they leave their house, they get married, they build their own family, and they become independent from their parents. But the case of those who are born of God, it's not like that. There is no independence. They depend on Him for the rest of their life and throughout eternity. Isn't it glorious? That's why the Holy Text says, whatever whatever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is our victory that overcomes the world, our faith. This faith, this faith of being independent from the world, from people, from things, from vanity, from lust, from sin, independence from everything, this type of faith which is intelligent, there is no emotion there, there is no feelings there. This type of faith, my friend, is the Holy Spirit inside of us. It's very strong. So when the person has the Spirit of God inside of them, they were born of God, they are led, they are guided by the Holy Spirit. They are not guided by demons, by evil spirits. They are not guided by any sort of evil spirit, by a voodoo priest or priestess. 
they are not guided by the pastor, by the bishop, by the church. They are guided by the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit of the living God is in them and therefore they overcome the world. They don't just overcome certain problems. They overcome the world. And this victory, my friend, does not mean to say that you have money, you'll be rich. No, because rich people are out there being defeated. In the story that Jesus speaks about Lazarus and the rich man, the rich man went to hell. He owned gold and silver, but he went to hell. And Lazarus, who had nothing, but continued with his faith, faith in his father Abraham, he was saved. Therefore, my dear friend, place your faith in its due place. If you were born of God, then you overcome everything. You overcome anxieties, you overcome doubts, because the Holy Spirit is the spirit of faith. And the spirit of faith is certainty, is assurance, conviction. The person knows. They know in whom they have believed, and they know that in the end they will overcome. They know that later on they will take possession of the crown of life. So this is our faith. The Apostle Paul says there, look what he says, I know in whom I have believed. So when the person is born of God, they know in whom they have believed as well. And this answered the questions that many people ask, Oh, Bishop, I speak in tongues, or I don't speak in tongues. So how do I know if I am a child of God that I have the Holy Spirit? Ah, my friend, you know that you have the Holy Spirit when the Holy Spirit testifies, He confirms within you that you are His child. It's the Holy Spirit who confirms in me. It's nobody else. I don't have to ask anyone if I am a child of God. This is something personal. It doesn't matter if others believe or not, if you like it or not. It doesn't matter if you think that I am a false prophet, I am this or that. Uh, for me, this means absolutely nothing. You can call me whatever you want, a crook, a deceiver, a liar, a thief, a criminal. You can call me whatever you want. But he inside of me, the Holy Spirit, testifies, you are my beloved child. <laughs> and this, my dear friend, it's only for those who are born of God. If you are not born of God, then you are not his child. This is the reality. It's written here, whoever or whatever is born of God overcomes the world. So I don't need to win the lottery in order to overcome. I don't need to win the election in order to win. I don't need to conquer money to win. No, I overcome every day. I overcome my doubts. I overcome my fears. I overcome my lusts. I overcome my sins, the sins that I could be committing. I overcome my evil thoughts. I overcome everything. I overcome the world. And this is what God wants for you because He is inside of you. You who are born of Him, of course, if you are born of God, if you are born of the water and of the Holy Spirit, then, my dear friend, you overcome the world every single moment, every second. You overcome and overcome, and you live from victory to victory, from faith to faith, by faith, in this total dependence on God dependence on the Almighty. This is what's called intelligent faith. Our faith is not based on emotions, on a song, a hymn, a beautiful song, a nice melody. No, our faith is focused on the promises of God, on the Word of God, in His effort to honor His Word in our lives. This is the reality. God did that to Abraham. He said to Abraham, Abraham, I am with you. And whoever curses you will be cursed. And whoever blesses you will be blessed. So Abraham didn't have to worry about his enemies. 
because his enemies was God's problems. Abraham's enemies were God's problems. So he lived a solidified lifestyle, firm, because he had been generated by God, generated by the Word of God. So later on, Jesus comes and gives us the right to be born of the water and the Holy Spirit. We are going to speak more about this tomorrow in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. But I would like to also make an invitation for you. Today is All Saints Day. Look at that. It's fun. In the world today celebrates the dead. They celebrate the dead. I don't celebrate the dead. My mother has died. My father has died. I have three brothers who died. And I celebrate what? I celebrate faith in my God, in my Father. So tomorrow, is it All Saints Day today or tomorrow? I think it's tomorrow, the 2nd of November, which is a holiday. So we are going to have a great night video that we will start at 6 p.m. all over Brazil, all over the world, wherever there is a holiday, we are going to have a meeting at 6 p.m. in the cool of the day, a mini night video that will last around two hours, two, two hours and a half. If you want to participate, if you are a child of God and you want to have a more intimate relationship with Him, then participate of this meeting. If you want to be born of God, if you want to be a child of God, then come with this thirst. My God, I'm not going there to just try or to just ask. I'm coming there to conquer it. This new birth, because only those who are children of God have power, have the power of God inside of them. Okay? May God bless you all and I see you tomorrow in Jesus' name. Thank God.